you told me a few weeks ago that we'd be driving an exosuit mini mech in Star Citizen 324, I wouldn't have believed you. In fact, that's exactly how I felt when some of my viewers pointed out this little aliens inspired power loader thing in the corner of the screen during the patch 324 update trailer. Loader that you see here is just set dressing and why would you need one anyway? Like I said in, in Discord, there is literally nothing better than a beam. There's nothing better than a beam and nothing better than a max lift at this point. <laughs> Fast forward a couple of weeks and well, to my surprise, here it is. <laughs> and even more surprising, this thing is actually pretty awesome, providing a cooler, more convenient, faster, easier, and more ergonomic way to move cargo. And that's the problem. I can't help but feel a little cheesed at the timing of the Argo Atlas's arrival. Patch 324 is the Cargo Empires patch, which has just fundamentally changed the game by requiring the physical movement of non-station bought cargo across the verse. Particularly in the case of cargo missions, which arrive with Patch 324, players now need to manually call, move and load cargo using their ship or handheld multi-tool and max lift tractor beams and the reception has been polarizing to say the least, because along with patch 324, the in-game purchased handheld tractor beams, aka the default way the majority of backers interact with cargo currently, have just had their strength, range, and speed nerfed, making the ordeal all that more tedious. In fact, patch 324 has been dubbed the tedium patch by many backers throughout the community, including many of you here in response to my 324 patch features video. And so to you I say, fear not, because there is now a solution, but it might cost you. The Argo Atlas is an aliens inspired power loader exosuit designed to help you move cargo, and boy does it help. The Atlas moves cargo faster and seems to even feature an entirely new, smoother way to move cargo altogether, requiring just a couple of clicks versus the carpal tunnel inducing low range click, drag, scroll, 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 scroll click, loop you'll need to repeat over and over again to move your haul currently. With the Atlas, you aim at the cargo, you click to pick it up, then you click again to put it down as it automatically rotates the crate and snaps to the target location grid at high speed. Perfect! Now jokes aside, I'm all for the changes in 324 because I always knew they were coming and for the most part, 324 is a good patch. I enjoy the cargo loop, regardless of what some call tedium, and these changes were a necessary, fundamental adjustment to the game that have always been on the cards. And sure, same can be said for the adjustments to the multi-tool tractor beams. But you cannot deny the timing of the Tedium Buster ATLS exosuit on the back of the so-called Tedium patch. And guess what? Riding around in an aliens-inspired exosuit to move your cargo at a smoother, faster rate is a lot more fun, efficient, and a better use of your time. It's just a shame that this is a paid solution to a CIG created problem where the project continues to put the cart before the horse, introducing the highly anticipated cargo overhaul with very little quality of life to make it an enjoyable experience. So, are there any alternatives in Star Citizen that can ease the tedium so you're not forced to throw money at a project that's increasingly milking its loyal backers and eroding trust and enjoyment along the way? Just two years ago, CIG sold the Mule, a vehicle I have a particular fondness for but was highly skeptical of from the beginning due to its shape, height and size relative to the sort of ships it was supposed to load. That's right, ships. You mean this low to the ground tuck tuck looking thing is going to help me move hundreds of crates of cargo around? You know, I'm not convinced. What does John Crew have to say about this? It's next big use will be actually helping you load your vehicles um, loading these big SEU crates from where the cargo is delivered via a freight elevator and with the cradle in the back and the forklift at the front you can then essentially ferry two uh, large SEU crates towards your ship and onto your ship depending on your ship if, if your ship is capable of having it attached like that. Well, two years later, and CIG has since introduced size 2, 4, 8, 16, 24, and 32 SCU crates. The mule was supposed to be able to move one SCU crates and still lacks even that functionality. 
So if you're a long-term backer and you've been aware and on board with the changes coming with the cargo refactor for the last X years, and you bought a mule with the trust and expectation of eventually using it to move cargo around your warehouse, well, in typical COG fashion, it's already yesterday's news and there's a better mover in town. So what about pallet loaders and movers? They looked cool, they made sense, they used everywhere in real world logistics. I mean, surely these could have come with our hangers and would give us another option for moving large amounts of cargo. Imagine if you could buy them at the cargo depot, then retrieve them with your freight elevators preloaded with stacks of cargo. Then you just have to drive it into or next to your ship and unload it using the handheld tractor beams or the Atlas. Unfortunately, these aren't in the game yet. And let's face it, free QOL features don't pay the bills. It took us seven years to get a marginally better star map after all. It's disappointing that these didn't arrive with the Cargo Refactor patch, and I hope we can see this sort of functionality soon. So how can we make this fairer for everyone? First of all, if CIG cared about saving face, they should not sell the Atlas and instead focus on selling skins for it while making it readily available in-game when it's added to the live servers. And while it isn't really any different to any other vehicle sale in CIG's past, they're often pretty egregious these days and always feature some sort of power creep. It's the timing of its application that make this particularly cheesy. And so the Atlas exists now and it needs to have a purpose. By design, it needs to be better or do something different than our current offerings when it comes to moving cargo. And I don't think the mule is savable due to its shape and design, making it pretty useless for moving cargo altogether. It would need a rework or at least be given a similar tractor beam as the Atlas, but its height still becomes an awkward limiting factor. So I think a good start would be to at least give handhelds and all ship tractor beams the improved Atlas tractor beam speed and two-click function while maintaining the intended weight limitations of handhelds, reserving the Atlas for moving the largest of cargo. Also, why didn't they give this thing the ability to move two crates at once? I don't know. I think CRG also need to introduce pallet loaders and movers commonly used in real-world logistics to the game as soon as possible, as these would provide additional ergonomic in-game options for haulers to plan, prep, and move their cargo. Anyway, I'm pleased to say the Atlas is pretty cool and has arrived in much better shape than I expected, especially considering CIG's history with the handling of ground vehicles. I have a video all about that here. It's just a shame about the timing. Thanks for watching everyone, and for all the support, goodbye.